It is a small caterpillar fungus that is believed to boost sexual performance naturally. And it is found only in the high altitudes of the Himalayas, earning it the nickname Himalayan Viagra. So don't pop out the backyard, you won't find it there. People flocking to that region now in search of what they think is a wonder drug. Kyle Knight is a journalist. He wouldn't you want to eat that? Uh, we, should, we should mention that the caterpillar fungus, it's more than just the alleged aphrodisiac. It's also been around in traditional healing for a long time, right? Yes, it's been used for a number of different ailments, illnesses throughout its, its history. And its history isn't particularly well documented. It's really only five to ten years that the, the sort of aphrodisiac quality has been marketed around the world. about this fungus, what it looks like, how it's found, and how it's consumed? Well, it, it's, it's an extremely small specimen that, that sticks out of the ground and looks essentially like a thick blade of grass. What happens before this is that a, a parasitic fungus kills and, and mummifies a caterpillar underground and then grows up out of its brain and sticks out of the ground, and this is what people are looking for. They're essentially looking for a piece of fungus that is attached to a caterpillar corpse that is sticking out of the ground about anywhere between one and four centimeters. There is the downside, of course. Uh, explain how getting this fungus is affecting the, the Himalayan grasslands. Well, it only grows at, at certain altitudes, and again, this is understudied, so it, it's not exactly uh, known where. However, when, uh, you know, in one particular district of Nepal where I did research, uh, the police estimate 40,000 people will migrate this year for the harvest, and the harvest takes place about over the course of a month. It actually just ended this week. So when you have all of these people coming, it means more garbage, it means more people trampling on the grasslands and crawling around. And also the harvesting method itself, involve, itself involves digging about an eight inch diameter hole and sifting through the soil that way. So it leaves the grasslands sort of pockmarked and also trashed just from the uh, general uh, increase in population. 